Welcome to Chapter 5, Lesson 3. The first thing I need you to do to get started with this lesson is open up your file that's last name, comma, first name, living room, and make sure that all of your layers are active on your layer panel, meaning the eye is showing for all of them. And then go ahead and make sure that all of your layers are collapsed as well, so that all of those errors are pointing to the right. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to work with layered artwork, um, and we're going to start by exploring the view options of the layers panel. So what I want you to do is I want you to press and hold your Alt key, and then click on the eye icon of your chair. So we're going to press and hold Alt, and then click on the eye icon. And what that does is when you're holding Alt, is it allows all layers to be hidden except for the layer that you selected. So if we hold down the Alt key again and click on our chair, all of our layers will be visible again. So now we're going to use the um, Control key, and what this is going to do is it's going to change the look of our image. So we're going to hold down the Control key and click on our chair, and now that has changed us to Outline Mode. So then if we click Control again, we now have our chair back in regular mode. So let's go to our foreground layer, and I want you to click on your foreground layer, and then I want you to hold down your control key and click on that eye and toggle it. And you'll notice that the eye is still visible, it's just um, the outline of the eye now, just like it's the outline of your image. So click and hold control again, and turn it back on to the regular mode. Now the next thing that you can do is you can use your control and alt key at the same time to turn everything but the layer you're selected on into outline mode. So let's go to our chair. We're going to hold down control and alt and then click on that eye again. So now you'll see all my layers are still visible, but the only one that's not in outline mode is that chair. So to reverse that, we hold down control alt and click on that eye again. And now everything is back to normal. So next we're going to show you how you can locate an item uh, within your layers. If you have a lot of layers, a lot of sub-layers, sometimes it might be hard to find an item to manipulate it. So what I want you to do is take your selection tool, and you're going to click on the plant that's on the far right side of your cabinet. Now I want you to come over to your um, layers option, which is that little box with the lines in it. Click on it. And then there's going to be an option called Locate Object. We're going to click on that. And you'll see that it brought me to the flower point, the lower, or the lowest sub-layer in the hierarchy that we can get to, because that was initially what I clicked on. You may get a leaf or something like that. Um, but I want you to go ahead and collapse under Plant 2 and just have Plant 2 selected. So I also want to show you how you can use your layers to make duplicates if you want. So we're going to click on Plant 2 and drag all the way down to our little option called the Create a New Layer option, and then Release. And now you'll see that we have an additional layer that has been created, or sub-layer. So to delete that, we can do the same thing by clicking on that new layer we just um, selected. So clicking and dragging all the way down to our trash bin and releasing. And now that additional layer is gone. So that is how you can make those duplicate um, layers. So we can do the same thing just as in another example, clicking on our lamp, dragging over create new layer, and it makes a lamp copy. And let's go ahead, click on our lamp copy, take this down, and delete it. So it's very, very easy to make copies using our layers. So now what we're going to do is learn how to insert a place image as well as how to dim that image based on our layer options. So I want you to hold down your Alt key and just click on any layer to um, get rid of all those layers being visible and then anything that is left, go ahead and just click on that one last layer so that you have a blank screen. So what I want you to do now is create a new layer that's going to be called Photo at the top of your layer hierarchy. And remember the way we do that is holding down Control and then selecting Create a New Layer. We are going to rename this layer Photo. And we are actually going to place a photo in this layer. So making sure that our uh, photo layer is selected, we're going to go to File, 
and then place. Um, you are going to find the image you need under your handouts, business handout, Shonifer, computer graphics, illustrator, and chapter 5. And it's going to be called Living Room Original, and it'll be a .tif file. You're going to click on that file and then click Place. And this might take a minute. Um, and once it's loaded, you're going to see that your cursor now has this little image that you are going to select where you put it. So I'm just going to hold it over my artboard and just click once. And now that image is in my artboard. Using my selection tool, I want you to line it up with the far top left corner. And then you're going to double click on your photo layer to open up your layers options. And all these little check marks are something we have not been over yet, but they're just different ways to manipulate. So I want you to click on your dim image too and make sure that it says 50% and then hit OK. And now you'll notice that the brightness or how we um, view the image is going to be different. It's less vivid. So now we're going to exclude specific layers from printing. So if we wanted to um, make a print file of something and print it off, we can exclude a certain layer from being printed. So we're going to create a new layer called Message at the top of our layer hierarchy. So hold down Control, go to Create New Layer, and we're going to rename this one Message. So now we're going to take our text tool making sure that our message layer is active. Go to our text tool, and using any text that you want, uh, let's open up our character panel. Select any text that you want, whichever one looks good to you, doesn't matter. And then the only thing that I want to make sure you have is your text size will be a size of 30. So once you have that, you're going to take your text tool down here in this open white space. And we are going to type in um, printer colon use photo for reference if necessary, period, thank you, exclamation point on the first line. And then the second line is call me at 555-1234 for any problems. So I'll go ahead and type that out now because I'm sure you don't remember what I just said and just follow along with what I'm typing. Okay, so now that we have that typed in there, what we're going to do is convert this to outline so that it sees it as an image and not just text. So switching to our selection tool, we're going to select our text and then go to type and create outlines. You could also click shift control and O or just click on create outlines. Go ahead and click anywhere to deselect and then double click on your message layer and we are going to uncheck the print option. That means when this photo prints, this will not print with it. So then we're going to click OK. And now I want you to um, hold down your Alt key and click on your message layer. And that's going to make everything active. And then I want you to go ahead and turn off the visibility of your message and your photo, bringing this back to your original living room photo. Go ahead and save your work and we will be using this image again for our final lesson.